What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a raffle on the Jordan 1 Top 3. This is a size 7.5 and, and they are DS. Every ticket is a dollar each. There's a total of 300 entries and right now there's about 100 and something taken. And you can go ahead and find a link to where you can purchase that in the description down below. I will be at Sneaker Games Miami this Sunday, January 15th. And I will be raffling these off there as well. Anyways, moving on to today's video, I do want to talk about how to do a sneaker meetup. I know nowadays this isn't really the thing that what people do. But I still want to make a video on it just because there are some people that still do it. And there's always ways to be safe. And some people usually just do it because they're so hyped to get the sneaker, but they don't know how to do it safely. Which I did have a terrible experience one time, and I will get to that on another video. So first of all, you start off getting... So first of all, you start off by talking to somebody, posting your shoes somewhere, and then talking to them, and where you're going to meet up, and this and that. Well, the first thing is where you want to meet up. You want to meet up somewhere very public. Like, let's say, probably a mall, or a Publix, or a gas station. But more preferably, somewhere where there's a lot of people, where you know you'll feel safe. And a good tip is try to meet up somewhere where you know there's cameras pointing at you and directly of where you're doing the transaction because you want to have evidence just in case something does happen to you or if you get robbed or whatever. By the way, you always want to go with the mentality that you're going to go get robbed or jumped. I know it's kind of bad, but it's just like you got to be prepared for anything. So make sure you always take a friend with you or somebody older that you know will have your back. Like me, for instance, I would always take my stepdad when I was younger, which is when I would do local meetups. And my stepdad has nobody to mess with, so... I knew he was a good person to take with me. And I don't exactly want to say bring a weapon, but bring one. Just because you never know what's going to happen. If you know how to use a weapon, then go ahead and use it. I'm not trying to promote violence here, but if you know how to use a weapon and you can use it to your defense, then I would say go ahead and bring it. But if you don't know how to use a weapon, then I would say just better off go with maybe a big group of friends just in case you do get jumped or you get robbed. Because when they see a lot of people, they're obviously not going to try to jump you. Maybe bring one of your biggest friends that you have. And prior to meeting up, if he's trying to be sketchy and be like, no, I can't meet here, meet me here instead, and it's a sketchy place, or it doesn't work out the way you want to sell the shoes, then just don't even bother doing it. Just because you want the money, it's not worth it. You'd rather be safe than sorry. All right, so back on track to when you actually go and meet up with a person. I would say only take one shoe and leave the other one in your car if you drive. If you don't drive, then you carry one shoe and your friends hold the box with the other shoe and you only let them see that one shoe at first. And if you want to see the other shoe, then you put the other shoe back and then grab the other shoe and give it to them just so they don't have possession of both shoes at the same time just in case they want to run or something because they could possibly run, get into a car, and you'll never see those shoes again. And depending on you, if you want to feel safe and be like, yo, show me the money first, then you can go ahead and do that because you can just be like, hey, I'm just trying to be safe here, show me the money, see if you really have it. Because some people just show up, sometimes they don't have it. And sometimes they'll point a gun, they'll point a knife. You never know. And if that's the case, that's why you want to be in a place where there's cameras. Because you can be like, yo, here, take the shoes. And they're going to have them right on, their, on the camera. And you'll have evidence for the police. So basically, point of the video is be as safe as possible as you can. And try to read the person before you actually go and meet up with them. I know sometimes some people are pretty good at acting and like showing they're a good person, this and that. But even then, still anticipate the fact that they're trying to rob you or they're going to try to jump you. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by SneakerCon Fort Lauderdale. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneakers sign out. Peace.